Hey guys, it's Eric RPG and I'm back again. And when we last left off, I went through the underwater par portion of the floating island in Frisia. So now we're back with Leviathan's power, and we're going to climb the Tower of Babel. So let's get to it. Ooh, look at that speed. He's gonna become Pupa. Hope he doesn't puka. Yeah, you can shoot me now for that. Hmm. Well, you kind of are useless to us as a caterpillar. I hope it doesn't take you too terribly long. Oh, that's right. We, we still can't talk to the people because they speak moon speak now. Hmm. This looks like a job for Cecil. That's a little too fast. So yeah, we're climbing the floors. Basically, just gotta whack this thing a couple times. Ah! Holy crap. And we've got. Well, how are we supposed to climb up here? Well, we're supposed to jump, then climb up. Oh, that's right. I think we need Cheetah here, and Leviathan. I forget what do we do here. Oh, I forgot. This makes it easy. Gotta take him off for now, though. Be the dinosaur. Ha. In this portion, we just gotta get through here without causing things things to rupture and unleash the. Well, crap. Whoa. It's a good thing I have a Leviathan on, because I can cut through these really quickly. Oh, this one's a little odd. I think what we need to do is we need to have the cheetah on, and we pretty much just let momentum take care of the rest. There we go!
think we have to jump in the right spot. I forget where it is, though. There's a square that we're supposed to hit, but I can't remember. Hmm. It's a gray tile we have to jump on. solve this. I think I just jumped on it at random. I'm reading an FAQ telling me how to do this, but it's not really helpful. How stupid FAQs can be sometimes. Yeah, I know I should have played this ahead of time, but whatever. It says, look at the brown color tiles at the bottom. On the left, there's a brown square. On the right, though. Oh, wait a minute. Now I know what it means. It wants me to step on that one. So yeah, we need symmetry, I guess. And this one, this one's slightly difficult. What we have to do is get one of those fuses to all the way over there. But we have to move these out of the way to make sure we can do that. So I'm just going to do it my way. There's more than one solution to this, I think. Hmm, that doesn't quite work. I have to push that back up. Let's see. Yeah, this might work. I screwed up the other one. Not this one, though. Damn, I'm too fast sometimes. Alright, throw my sword. Boom. Oh, I hate this room. The invisible. Ha! Oh, I almost had it too. There we go. That works. Just gotta maneuver yourself through here. What I could have done is... So basically, just gotta get through there really fast. You need Leviathan to get through here. Now this one... is kind of a pain in the butt, but not really.
all you really have to do. You could go gone up, but I went down instead because that's what I like to work with. Now this one's a little difficult. You don't want to be too fast on here. Let this be your guide. Ooh, we're at the halfway point. We can't go higher. Oh, we planted the giant seed now. So yeah, we can go higher now. Ooh! We're in paradise now. Or, we're quite literally in heaven, because heaven literally means the sky in whatever language it came from. In every language, actually. In Japan, heaven is Tengoku. And I forget what it was in uh, Aramaic, but it also basically means the sky. So let's talk to the people here. Hey, it's a hippie! Love and peace. So what, are you guys ghosts? Are you ascended? Are you... Well, technically that guy could be Daniel Jackson, but... Oh, and so they're a piece of animals. Not monsters, though. Maybe? Yay, he restores our health. And there is a quest that we can do here by stepping on all the flowers. We have to make sure we step on them all. We'll know if they're being stepped on if they actually move when we walk across them. So yeah, I'm gonna take the time to do that. It's a lot of flowers. I think I got all of them there. Yeah, it's it's I'm doing this for the health. Because you really need health in this game, since there are no healing items at all, other than the ones you can find in levels. So yeah, sorry if this is a little bit boring, but I'm doing it anyway. And yeah, we're gonna go all the way to the boss here. If I make this video a little bit longer because of that, it'll be worth it. Because splitting it into two videos doesn't sit well with me. I forget who we we're supposed to talk to for it. Getting the reward, but... It might have been this lady. Yeah, who knew that stepping, stepping on flowers was actually a good thing? Oh, right, I think she's all the way up here. Hmm. Yeah, apparently the angels here don't have names. If there are angels. Or Celestians, or whatever. Oh, it's just... That's the old lady's husband. Kind person! Yay, for formatting errors. So yay, we got an apple of life. That was worth it. Trust me. And 
And there's someone else we can talk to here. A fried chicken. Well, maybe it's because somebody already ate you. And there's one more guy over on the other side. Because they're barbarians, or, and because God made them stupid. I'm sorry, but God's not an intelligent designer, folks. He's a rather stupid one. Kind of an asshole, too. That's why we need to kill him. Or at least give him a piece of our mind, and if he tries to kill us, then well, it's self-defense. So yeah, let's get to it. Oh, I must have hit the analog stick. Sorry. Hmm. Alright. Let's go! Oh no! Bees! Goddamn bees. every time we hit one of those. Bees come out. There we go. Ah! A whole mess of bees. Don't knock me over. Go away after a while. There we go. Go away, B. Revenge! Oh, that's right. I was supposed to jump on that, and I have to wait for it to come back. Yeah, we need Leviathan for this part, too. Hmm... I forget if we have to go this way or the next way. There is another money bag we can get here. Or another life apple. Oh, wait, we're taking the wrong path. Probably should have left that alone. That was stupid of me. Well, I wonder what that did. It's a shortcut, basically. Pretty sure we're timed here. Can't 
gonna stick around forever. Can't go through there. Now we can. Jump! Yeah, that's why you have to jump. Wait, oh. That's why we have to jump. Basically, gotta get a running jump. That's why. Yeah, got you. Gotta jump early. Whoa. Where's the money bag we've been looking for? Hmm... Tricky! Basically what we have to do is... Connect all these. Almost to 800, folks. The money will finally be put to use. Well, assuming I don't die before I get there. Oh, wait a minute, there's something over here. Nope, not yet. We're going this way. Nothing. We can't jump in those spots. Bees! Bye-bye, bees. Jump! Oh, what? I misplaced my jump. Hmm... I'll have plenty of energy for the, for the boss fight.
I think we can go back down here. Probably should have just gone there first. Yeah, we're back where we started now. Wait a minute. Maybe I can go up here instead. No. Yeah, I pretty much have to go through here again. I think. Now we can go this place. We're finally out of that hole. Wait a minute. Yeah. This is interesting. Destiny now is the path we're on. Where your feet take you is up to you. It's giving us a big hint. Basically, I think where the flowers are. Okay, let's see. This part's easy, we just gotta not fall off. And this part's a little more, more difficult. I'm gonna have to jump here. So much health left. Ah. the game expects you to, other than trial and error. A beast that shows the path, huh? I don't think it matters here. It's in the next area. I need health, so I'm gonna grab some. Assuming the game gives me any.
Yeah, we basically have to... I don't think they give us anything here. Drop any money. So you gotta just do this four times. Maldra? Who the hell is Maldra? So yeah, Maldra, the game doesn't tell this to you. It might be some kind of translation to avoid saying God, but yeah, he's pretty much God. Whoa. So basically what we want to do is... It's kind of a pushover. I need to get ahead of him though. I need the cheetah to get maneuverability though. There, we gotta aim for his head. Ah, don't hit me with your lightning sword. Well, to be fair, this guy might not actually be God. He's just his bodyguard. But, we don't actually see him, I think. I'm just gonna call him God. Because the idea of God being a dragon is cool. Stay away from me! He apparently can't really hurt you, but he can knock you off the ledges, and that does hurt you. Come on. And he's dead. We've killed God or his protector. Full of humans! Teaching a valuable lesson by removing my ability to talk to other people and then trying to murder me. History taken by human fighting in battle would change, but it proved to be a waste. Well, maybe if you actually told us that you did this instead of hiding like a coward, maybe we'd understand. Your plan failed because you're a moron. So God's a dick. So yay, we can talk. I mean, we can still talk to animals, I think. Give the final judgment to those who cannot see this. Well, so he's gonna kill anybody who can't understand that humans need to get along with monsters. And animals. So this is apparently the Crusader Senti, the, the thing we've been doing. What's a senti, though? I still don't know. Whatevs. Let's get out of here. So, yay! Now we need to get out of the tower. So, yay. We're stuck here. Actually, what we need to do is put you back on. Oh. 
we have to talk to the, the dude. Yeah, that's a rule in RPGs I forget. Talk to guys twice. Mm, if only we had a butterfly. Oh wait, here it is. Yay, it's pieces! I miss this to pieces! Yay! Join the group! So now let's utilize him and get the hell out of here. So yeah, we can operate the sword manually now. Oh wait, we gotta take off Mr. Ricochet. I'm doing. There we go. And it's been removed. Hmm. Sounds a lot like a story in the Bible. Snowing in Iris? Well, we have to do something about that. But until then, next time on Crusader Ascenti, we'll... See what's up in Iris. See you guys later. Bye-bye.